टुडे वी आर गिविंग फोकस टू द टार्सल एंड बेटा टार्सल बोल्स ऑफ डोमेस्टिक एनिमल्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस स्केमेटिक डायग्राम दिस वन एक्चुअली बिलोंग्स टू कार्निवोरस मीन डॉग एंड कैट लेट्स this one is belongs to equine the example for this is horse this one is bovine species and this will be ox or cattle and this one from pig some basic things you people already know for example tarsal and metatarsal bones are actually a part of what is a part of pelvic limb is a part of pelvic limb are also known as hind limb also known as hind limb if we would draw small here for example this start with which bone hip bone os coxi from os coxi you have which bone femur which one from femur we have tibia fibula yes from tibia fibula we have here a group of bones which small bones which is known as tarsal bone then a long bone which is actually metatarsal and finally you have what phalanges okay in the case of hoof animal at the end is a hoof is also part of phalanges so this is a what pelvic limb of the domestic animal this have os coxi or hip bone have femur okay then have tibia plus fibula then have what carpal bone tarsal sorry tarsal then metatarsal finally phalanges okay so you also know that this tarsal metatarsal and phalanges collectively known as pes collectively known as yes. this this tarsal this area may be known as hook you know yes, known as hook hook bones what is that <coughs> thing you need to understand these bones these tarsal bones are actually organized in three rows tarsal bones have how many rows three, three lines you know the in the pelvic limbs tarsal bones are organized in three rows for example look here on this diagram this black you know this in every species this is denoted with what tibia and fibula because this tarsal bones proximally form articulation with tibia and fibula tarsal bone form articulation with tibia and fibula if you look on there is the three linings three rows this the first row which showing with the red color this have two bones these bones actually tarsal bones are what <coughs> they are short bones they are short, short bones. bones but here if you compare within the tarsal bones these two bones t and c they are little large they are little large. which compared to other tarsal bone with compared to tarsal. other tarsal bones so these two bones this one is number one this t for talus t for talus is known as talus and other one is c for calcaneus cal calcaneus listen again carefully we have three rows of tarsal bones the number one row lining is known as what proximal proximal row which it is known as middle row it is known as or intermediate this one is known as distal row all animals have three rows of tarsal bone all animals have three rows of the first tarsal row have two bones have one is talus other is cal and also anatomically this side is what this is a medial side okay this one is the lateral side so all these diagrams from here this is a medial side and from here this is what lateral side so if you look on this let medially this tibia form a joint with what talus 
so <coughs> in the proximal row video laterally talus come first calcareous come second so in all animals we in the first proximal row have two bones talus and calcareous okay jump into the middle row the middle row have only one bone actually which is called as central tarsal bone which is called as central tarsal bone this denoted with c here you can see there is the one variation which is found in the ox and cattle you know what is that the tarsal uh, central tarsal bone of ox fuse with the fourth bone of the distal row fuse with the fourth bone of the distal row here this diagram is explaining central tarsal bone is fused with fourth bone of the distal row this is a one uh, variation we have in the ox and cattle look at the third row third row we have four bones we have with the number first tarsal bone second tarsal bone third tarsal bone and fourth tarsal bones clear so look here in the case of dog we have all four bones first second third and fourth in the coin in the case of horse there is a little variation first and second bone is fused first and second bone is that's mean one that's mean in distal row in distal row horse have three bones in distal row horse have three. instead of four because one and two is fused jump to the next next we have ox in ox uh, or cattle the two and three also fused and four is fused with the middle bone which is a central tarsal bone that's mean we have one two three bones only here how much bones one two three in the distal row of the cattle jump to the next one here we have all four bones like dog one two three four first tarsal bone second third and fourth now listen again carefully the carpal bones are arranged into, into three rows arranged into three, three rows. rows the first row is known as the proximal row which form joint with the tibia and fibula the the criteria for the first row is that they have two large bones which compared to other tarsal bones talus and calcareous all animals have talus and calcareous that's clear when you jump on the second row which is we call as intermediate row or middle row this row have only one bone a little big bone which is known as central tarsal bone which is known as central tarsal bone there is only one variation among the animal central tarsal bone of the ox actually fuses with the fourth bone of the distal row fuses with the fourth bone of the distal row where you jump into the third row distal row we have here how much number four bones tarsal bone 1 2 3 and fourth well will you compare with different animal look on the comparative anatomy you will find dog have all four bones variation in horse because first bone and second are is fused variation in cattle we have second third is fused a fourth also fused with central tarsal bone and in big what we have all four bones if you can calculate this is what dog how much the total number of the tarsal bone in the dog 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 it's okay how many tarsal bones in horse 1 2 3 4 5 how much tarsal bones in the ox 1 2 3 4 5 how many tarsal bone in the One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's clear. That is the arrangement of the tarsal bone in what? Domestic animals. Next, we have what? You know, I can tell you that there is the the arrangement of beta tarsal and the phalanges is similar. Similar with what? Four limb and hind limb. Thoracic limb and hind limb. Thor uh, thoracic limb and pelvic limb. Four limbs are hind limb. You know, animals have two limbs. 
so in two limbs the arrangement of what beta tarsal and beta carpal beta tarsal and is similar this arrangement we are going to looking of the beta tarsal if you remember the last lecture which was on beta carpal you will find they have similarity here look for example dog have all five beta tarsal bones dog have all five beta tarsal bones jump into the horse here same story the third one is the main bone which is called as calcane uh, this is called as canal bone which is called as canal bone which made weight bearing bone in the horse and with second and third is as a split bone first and five is missing look here this third and fourth together make one bone but at the end of the they are distal end they separate okay because they joined with the separate separate phalanges okay like this in the case of or cattle but this is the third and fourth togetherly joining from middle and from the distal point they are separate making a large metacarpal bone that's clear okay go into the pig they have four the first one is point is that the arrangement of beta tarsal is similar with the arrangement of beta carpal that's clear so anything you want to know listen again carefully nothing special this diagram is explaining tarsal and beta tarsal bone of the dog horse ox and pig that's clear what the thing you need to understand the more variation you will find in tarsal bones you find it with the number one thing you need to remember tarsal bone is arranged into three rows number one is the proximal row second one is the middle row third one is the distal row proximal row form joint with what tibia and fibula distal row form articulation with what beta tarsal here they form with the with what beta tarsal the number and the arrangement of the tarsal is have variation especially in the second row middle row and in the third row the variation the outstanding variation is in the ox we have fourth bone of the beta distal row is fused with the central tarsal bone okay two and three is also fused here we have in the horse first and second is fused so due to the few year number of tarsal bones is also different dog have seven horse have six cattle have five pig have that's clear anything you want to ask okay thank you very much